to the third episode of Trap Talks. I'm here with Ella McNett. How are you doing today? Pretty good. Thank you for having me. Yes. Um, okay, so you're a senior, and so that means you've been involved with a lot of stuff. So what all have you been involved with? Well, my clubs have really varied throughout the years because I had to figure out how to manage my time. But this year, I'm Stuco president. I'm an FFA officer. I'm a part of FBLA, and I'm in choir. Nice. So what is your favorite out of all of those? Probably choir. It's what I want to pursue after high school. How did you get involved with choir? <laughs> so fun fact, I went to Catholic school as a kid. Not a lot of people know that. And the church is really influenced by music. Mm -hmm. So my father also did music in college. So I was really just kind of thrown into it because I was always able to sing. But once I got older, I found choir as more of an outlet. Because it's fun to sing, because it's different emotions, so that's kind of how I got into it. Yeah, that's cool. Um, so, we, we all know you do tennis, favorite sport. How did you get involved with that? <laughs> I've been playing tennis since I was six years old mm. with rec tennis. Um, tennis is kind of random in my family. My mother played in college, and so it was a big influence on me to play tennis, so I got into it when I was really young. Nice. What was your favorite memory during tennis season? Oh gosh, there's so many. <laughs> uh, it probably has to be my freshman year tennis season. I qualified for state as a freshman, and that's a really big accomplishment for tennis because yeah. tennis is competitive. Yeah. Or at freshman state tennis, I bought a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Their names was gillies i'm really gonna miss that fish oh. it survived for four days <laughs> it lived the trip from topeka back to kansas i, I really miss that fish <laughs> oh. r.i.p okay so talking about memories what's your favorite memory been at learned high school oh gosh i i want to say my favorite memory is probably freshman year homecoming this this was before covid so we could like actually have a real dance yeah it's probably when one of my good friends sky thomas and Darnell had a dance battle. Oh, it was so fun. The oh DJ split God. us up into two, and we just had a girls versus boys dance oh battle. Oh, that sounds so fun. Okay, so what's your favorite senior memory? Hmm. I think my favorite senior memory is the choir or choir and band Christmas concert because I did so much behind the scenes that not a lot of people knew so that day I this, the nurse Amy thought I had strep throat so she like made me leave school so I was in tears crying and then I then they cleared me saying I didn't have strep throat and so I made all these like paper decorations for the show that night in my pajamas and I'm practicing and everything came together at last moment and it was perfect oh, that sounds amazing <laughs> Speaking of high school, your senior year, what do you want to do after? Um, I'm actually going to Bethany College on my shirt. I'm, I'm going to go on a music education. I really want to do music education. I've been wanting to do it since I was a kid. Um, I will be going on a tennis scholarship. I already have my roommates. They're great people. I'm so excited. That sounds like <laughs> so much fun. Do you have a plan for after college? Or have you not thought of that? I've always thought about going to law school because mm -hmm. my brother is planning to go to law school right now because a music major mixed with a law major you can do a lot of stuff like copyright with that yeah. but I feel like I just want to get through those first four years or four or five years because music majors are usually fifth year seniors and then I'll see where I'm at mm -hmm. but I think it would be fun if I get to a big enough school I can do show choir yeah and so I could like add some dance with it <laughs> yeah, that'd be so fun Okay, so back to moments. What is your funniest moment in high school? Funniest moment I learned at high school is, um, so I bought these new jean pants, and I was so excited to wear these pants. So I put them in my backpack, not thinking, next to a packet of highlighters. And so oh. I woke up, put these pants on, went to school, and my friend Reagan Crable looks at me and goes, you have highlighter all over the back end of your jeans. And I was like, oh, what? No. So I turn around, pants are completely covered in highlighters. <laughs> but 
I'm a little mischievous. So right before she told me, I took Mr. Ratliff's water bottle and I put it on top of his shelves because he can't reach it. So I called my mom. She called me out from school and I go and I change my pants and I come back and I walk into Mr. Ratliff's classroom because it was my next class and the whole class is completely like silent. Nobody's talking. And I turn to one of my friends and I go, what's happened? And they're like, Mr. Ratliff just screamed at the class because he's accusing of one of us is putting, of putting, his, putting his water bottle on top of the shelf. <laughs> so I'm like, oh my gosh, who did that? <laughs> or another funny moment is when I, I had a baby sheep last mm-hmm. year for fourth grade Ag Day. And Mr. Wilson goes, you better not bring that sheep into the school. I go, okay. And so I ring the doorbell. Kelly willingly lets me into the school <laughs> with a sheep in my arms. And I walk into Mr. Wilson's office and he goes, can I pet it? <laughs> so, so he loved it. Oh, Mr. Ratliff and him had a ball with the sheep. I brought a goat in this year. Oh, if, my you, God. if you didn't see me in the halls. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, what is one thing others don't know about you? Um, I want to say a lot of people don't know I'm really open handed. If you call me at, like, midnight and be like, hey, I need a ride, I will leave my house. Or if you, like, need money for something, I will willingly give it to you. A lot of people assume I'm not really nice. (laughs) But once you get to know me, I'm, like, one of the funniest open-handed people you can ever get to know. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what do you like most about Larned High School? Um... I like Larned High School because it's a small high school. A school about 200 kids or something like that. So everybody knows everybody. So once I'm out in the community, it's not like I never know a kid. Mm -hmm. So if I ever need anything, I have those close-knit connections. So when I move away and I ever come back, I'll still know the elderly people of Larned or even the younger kids of Larned. That's really nice. Okay. So describe what it was like being a freshman. So my class was, we were freshmen when the quarantine lockdown happened. But for me... In middle school, I did four sports a year. I did volleyball, basketball, track, and cheer. But when I came to high school, all my friends did volleyball. And so I lost all my friends freshman year because I didn't play volleyball. And so I was kind of alone those first Mm -hmm. two months. But I ended up making awesome new friends with the tennis team. I'm still friends with them today. Mm -hmm. I I miss my freshman team so much. But it was different for us because we didn't get to finish out our freshman year. Yeah. All of our core classes, which we needed, like algebra, that really hurt us in the long <laughs> run because I didn't learn algebra. <laughs> <laughs> so it was different for my class, and I'll say others. Yeah, sounds very different. Uh, what is something you would want to tell incoming freshmen? Um, you'll find new friends but you'll also lose friends. It might hurt, but letting go is okay. Um, Yeah, you're gonna build a new life in high school rather than middle school. You're not gonna be the same person walking in than you're walking out. I'll say that for sure. I walked in with brown hair and I'm leaving with blonde. I don't even know how many times I've changed my mind. (laughs) Okay, and is there anything else you would like to say or add? Or any questions from me? Um, if you're not crocking, you're not rocking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and that'll end this episode of Tribe Talks. Thank you, Ella, for joining well, thank us. Thank you for having me. This concludes our third episode of Tribe Talk. Thank you, Ella, for joining us, and tune in next week for our interview with Sarah Manry.